Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my study. And um, as we begin a, a new week and, and come to the end of our series in John 1 to 4, I've got a very peculiar couple of verses to put in front of you this morning. Just take a look at verses 44 and 45, John 4. Now, Jesus himself had pointed out that a prophet has no honour in his own country. When he arrived in Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. Now, Jesus is from Galilee, and John has appropriated verse 44 and talked about uh, country rather than city or town, so it doesn't have to be happening precisely where Jesus is from. But it seems that the people are welcoming him. They'd seen all that he'd done in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, for they'd also been there. So they, they've seen what Jesus is about. They understand that he's got extraordinary powers. He's been healing people. They've seen him uh, drive people out of the, the temple. Word would have got around very quickly. Here is somebody quite extraordinary. And they, they welcome him. They, they gather to him, presumably. And at the same time, John is, John is saying, but they didn't honour him. They, they welcomed him, but they didn't honour him. And that's an idea we're going to be toying with a little bit this week is how is it that you can be a people who um, embrace Jesus in one sense, but not savingly? Is it possible to be people who, who think very warmly of Jesus, positively of Jesus, and yet completely miss the point? Uh, this is illustrated for us, I think, in verse 48, where Jesus himself says, unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. That sets us up for the story of, of the man with the, the sick child uh, that we'll come to over the next couple of days. But it's interesting, isn't it? The sort of honouring that John expects, that Jesus expects, is a believing in Jesus and a believing in Jesus that doesn't require uh, signs, doesn't require miraculous wonders and, and special events. But it seems that, that that's why the people are gathering to him. They're, they're warm, they're friendly. They want Jesus to come and, and stay and, and talk and do things. They're, they're not necessarily interested in Jesus as Jesus himself presents himself. Jesus has come, as we'll, as we'll reflect again a bit later in the week, uh, Jesus has come as the bridegroom. Jesus has come as the one giving living waters. He, he's come as the one speaking the words of eternal life, as chapter 6 will tell us. But the crowd gather around Jesus because they want to see party tricks. They think that Jesus is, is simply there to empty the hospitals, simply there to drive out demons, simply there to, 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 to smooth out the rough bumps in life, uh, healing paralysis here, curing a, a sickness there, driving out demons there. People come to Jesus with their own agenda with, uh, uh, and see only what they want to see. Of, of who he is. And John says it's not good enough. Jesus says it's not good enough. Uh, we're to come to Jesus, we're to believe in Jesus, not because of the miraculous powers, although that's helpful to help us to believe, isn't it? But it's not sufficient, it's not enough. You can have a wrong view of Jesus. And that's what the disciples do. And I wonder, just and tear up as a question for this week, rather than uh, to answer it right now, but one to ponder on for us. What is it that, that causes us to come to Jesus? Perhaps you're listening in as somebody who, who really is just getting to know this Jesus chap uh, on uh, from the Vicar Studies. Well, well, you're very welcome with us. Please do hear what John is saying here. Uh, there are all sorts of wrong views of Jesus or inadequate views of Jesus. That's perhaps a better way of putting it. Uh, and we have to have uh, the, the, the sort of view of Jesus that John himself is driving us towards. It's not enough for Jesus to be a nice man from history or even a miraculous healer. We have to take Jesus on his terms. It's one for us to ponder this week. I wonder, what is it that causes you to come to Jesus? Do you come to listen? Do you come to take Jesus on his terms? Or are we a people who come to church for churchiness, come to church for, for, for nice Sunday services, but not actually for who Jesus actually presents himself to be? I'm going to pause there. Much to ponder on.
and we'll come back again uh, tomorrow. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please help us to be honest with ourselves about what it is that draws us to Jesus. Please help us uh, not to have uh, an inadequate view of Jesus, but a, but a right view where where the, the main things are kept central and we, we understand and we come to Jesus for who Jesus is, not who we'd like him to be. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. See you again tomorrow.